Welcome. <laughs> so, my thing just ran out of memory. I guess Condor looks okay. I can't really tell. But this is... Hold on. But you guys were on a GoPro. You were on a GoPro that entire time and it ran out of memory and I'm sorry if you saw a mess. I've really tried not to get that in there. So not only am I using this, I do have mirrors on stuff, but I don't use it. But I'm gonna have to use it now. So, I gotta continue this video on phone, which is great. I, I can get my computer out, but at this stage, it's just that difference in lighting. But at this point, it's just a little pointless to get my computer out and do it because my computer takes a while to start up. But yeah, so this is more like neutral, more peachy. So I discovered that when I first used it and I can't tell if any contour happened at all in this lighting at all because it's orange. Thank you light for providing some orange yellow lighting um so this is kind of annoying let's see if i can make shift i want to keep this angle though like yee! i need one of those um phone holders you know how people have phone holders on the car and whatnot so <laughs> i'm sorry that this is like my first not first intro video, but intro video. But my guy's out of memory. And trust me, the reason why I'm not using my um, camera, I wonder, here. I'm going to set you down. You're going to look into the light for like two seconds. Or three. Enjoy the noises that I make. Okay, got it. So this is my camera camera that I filmed some videos on already. And I would say, and he's not broken at all. Like, he just, all my memory cards are full. And basically, I tried to put a, a, a different kind of SD card in here. And I put it in, because I used a, one of those before. I put it in and it says, oh, this is damaged. I'm like, bitch, I never used it. So, so I need to get SD cards ASAP for GoPros and this guy. So I can actually use him. So, that's kind of my situation. But... Now I gotta hold you guys and do my makeup with no mirror. You guys are gonna be my mirror, so there's gonna be a lot of eye contact. I can't even tell if the contour was good. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it, Jeff. My name Jeff. Um, I need to make like a makeshift thing. I mean, I see something helpful, but that means I gotta change. Like, the way you're looking at me, right? Like the angle. <laughs> Not the way you're looking at me, goddamn, you only have one feature. <sighs> Technology, I love you, and I hate you, but I wish you will work with me. So... Makeshift tripod go. Hello. <laughs> I made a um I'm gonna show you guys this after because this is this is beyond ridiculous. Okay, so you're only gonna see a floating head from now on annoyingly. 
But don't worry, Hubby. I'll look down to talk to you because I don't want to. You get this. See the double chips. <laughs> that was so unnecessary for me to do, but fuck it. Um. <laughs> this is so strange. I have to crunch to talk to you. This somehow works. It's there. <laughs> I'm laughing at it. I'm not laughing at you guys at all. You guys are awesome and creative and I'm sure have lots of SD cards. <laughs> Little old me needs to get some SD cards, but we're kind of Gucci. We're kind of a floating head and it's okay. You gotta do stuff to make the dream work. And let me see if I can do this. Hopefully I don't make myself too tan. Because none, none of us wants that. None of us wants that. And also I do realize this is horrible lighting. You don't have to comment down in the comments and tell me it's horrible lighting. I know it's horrible lighting. <laughs> but it's all we got. I mean, it's not all we got. I could go into a different room, but still. The light would still probably be yellow and stuff. So, moving on to blush. But yeah, I was talking about, like, I'm more adventurous. Like, if I'm in a new spot, I just want to go check it out. So, there we go. So, let's see. I told you my middle name. And stuff like that. I am 22 years old right now. And in the next... Um, in the next week, I will be 23, believe it or not. And let me tell you, it doesn't feel like it <laughs> right now. I think I made a challenge. No mirror challenge. I feel like something like this has happened though. I can't tell if I'm making a difference or not. Can't tell whatsoever. And again, I have mirrors. Oh, you guys saw, you, you saw a little bit. So yeah, there is a can- why don't I just show you now? Fuck it. That's what you're hanging on to! School- oops. School books. A autumn candle. And a little skeleton guy. Hi hi. So, <laughs> that is what <laughs> this tripod is. I'll give you a better look at it, but... You know... But... Yeah. So, I'm 22 years old now. Look at my floof. Floofy hair. I'm 22. Gonna be 23. As small as I am. I am... I am... I don't know why I need to think about this. I know. I am 5'2", so 5 feet, 2 inches. I'm a small little nugget, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Um, yeah. This is Urban Decay's eye primer. And it's just the original. <laughs> I keep forgetting, like, I should... 
name you show you guys the products or tell you what I'm using but yeah so 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 far so good everything's normal oh the allergies are coming the allergies are coming I look no different there, you see no difference, but again, you're angled low, and at least I can put, like, fail at the end, right? <laughs> okay, now we're da down to business. So, I had this kind of idea in my brain. We're gonna make one eye like kind of folly, kind of sun, like the sun is coming out of the darkness or the snow or whatnot. So, gonna try and make that a reality with the Naked Urban Decay Heat Palette. And you know what I recently discovered because I tried to do an eye where it was darker on my lid and lighter in the outer crease of my eyeball eye socket however I tried to um stack colors on top of like another color and they would not blend together it will not work it didn't work so that was that was interesting to figure out. Now, I'm going to be doing swatches on my arms. So, I don't know. If you guys ever spot me in public and you find, you see, like, faint color swatches on my arms. Yeah. <laughs> I do that every time with the eyeshadow. Well, since, since we have no more GoPro, I'm going to take this off. So, yeah. <sighs> Allergies. I'm sorry. Should have brought some tissues in here, shouldn't I? Okay. We are going to do some swatches that you can't see. I think this is the one I want. Oh god, no. Nope. <laughs> the, the, they all look very similar. Or is it just this lighting they look very similar? If I did uh, I don't know if you, you guys see that. Eee. Hold on. Eee. Eee. Let me get that was really loud, I'm sorry. This is what we got so far, our colors I'm thinking about. All of them look obviously a lot of them look similar. Except for that really dark one. But I know one of them is a really pretty orange, so it's hard to tell in this light, which is really, really annoying. Um, but that's going to go on the eyeball, I think. And then there's a really pretty gold that I have in my, the very first palette I ever bought or got. So let me, let me show you. Try not to make this <laughs> fall, because it was really hard. So this is an Urban Decay 
palette eyeshadow palette that I ever first got and this like golden shade it's called baked cowboy pretty sure yep baked cowboy and I am obsessed with this gold color it's like blinding it's like my favorite kind of gold like I use it all the time so basically the eye look I'm doing is not is no stranger to me because I've done this before and it's really pretty this combination they're all kind of fading now but they're all but I think I know what one I'm trying to aim for. Again, I'm using you guys, not a mirror. Even though I should be, because some of these have, or a lot of them, have mirrors in them. I'm actually going to flip a palette open for a mirror. <laughs> because I need something. I need a mirror that's dirty, but not dirty, dirty. Okay, okay. That that kind of works. I mean, there's no lighting. <laughs> you can only see my eyes. Okay, okay. Well, well, well. <laughs> struggle bus. Maybe I should just put that. <laughs> Welcome to the struggle. Welcome to the struggle of my life Welcome to the struggle of my life Not bad What else did I want to say? Oh I am Don't know where that voice came from I am Irish, Polish, and Dutch is my ethnicity or like culture I don't because I know a lot of people get curious about that stuff, so. I gotta make a decision. I gotta make the, the. See, I can't speak. That's what you're gonna figure out in these videos. I can't talk worth anything, 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 anything. We're not going to do my right. We're going to do the other eye. Okay. It's a little... Um... God. I hope what we do in this video like I need to think. I'm trying to think of this color again not the best lighting this looks pink but it's not god dang it Hopefully I become more professional, guys. Hopefully, like, I find lights and everything like that. But anyway, on with the adventure thing. For the first time ever, my family is actually going on a big trip. It's a big trip to us, obviously. Because we usually just go to one place ever and so we are going to Florida Orlando which we've been before so it's not that big but after that I'm going to Costa Rica and obviously I'm gonna vlog I'm gonna make a video videos which are going to be like vlog type things. So you guys can see how beautiful it is. My dad actually went to Costa Rica with like a group of his friends a long time ago. 
before all this all before any like big people were going there like celebrities and stuff like that and how like modern it has like he went there where it was like um birds everywhere like you had to hike and I don't know so I'm very excited for Costa Rica. I'm also excited for Florida too, just because me and one of my older sisters, I'm the youngest. So like me and my other, one of my older sisters, we love Harry Potter. And so we are very excited to go to Florida and like experience Harry Potter world and probably do Tower of Terror and other scary rides. So I will try to film some of that as well, like rides. I think that would be the most entertaining for you guys to see what my face looks like in these rides. So I'm for sure bringing a GoPro or hiding it or something. Is this the color? I need it. <laughs> I don't know. Let's... I think it's this one actually. <laughs> I'm dabbing. I have a towel here, so I'm not like dabbing it on my bed if that's what you guys are thinking. But this is more what I wanted, I think. I may have done the first color wrong, but that. But hey. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting really close, but. I need to see what I'm doing. So, I think it's making it more orangey. I don't know why I'm whispering. I don't need to whisper. I don't. Also, where's the brush that I want to show? This guy, I just realized what this guy is for, and he's for like up here to like move like loose shadow away or something. So that's what a fan brush is for. Who knew? <laughs> I feel like I'm so in your guys' face because I'm just like this. Like, like I've said before, I need to see what I'm doing. I don't even know what this video is. It's so random now. But that's what I kind of want it to be. It, it's kind of orangey now. Okay. This shade that made it orangey, so the first one I used was, so it's very dirty, L Lumbar, and now the shade that I'm using that, that makes it appear more orange is Dirty Talk. Dirty Talk, Talk Dirty. I don't know why I said it that way. Literally, you guys will have, I'll put some, like, music maybe on, on like, low volume so it's not just, like, awkwardness. But it's awkwardness for me. Just so you guys know what I'm, what I have to deal with. But this is gonna look really pretty. I'm not gonna lie. I messed up a little bit with the color because of the lighting. What? It doesn't look horrible. This isn't horrible from what I'm seeing from in here. And also, don't mind the sun, which is natural lighting coming in and out. But yeah, this is. Yes. I don't know. What have we done so far? We talked about random shit, basically. Like, we went on a deep chat, we talked about being adventurous, or how I want to be more adventurous, and a big trip's coming up in February, so that'll be exciting for you guys to see, and... I'm trying to think of other things. Also, while I have you here, 
I mean, unless you clicked off, which, but hey, Ooh. um, if you guys would like, like, obviously you you're a big part of this channel to grow. Leave your guys's like comments or suggestions of what we can turn me into. Whether it be a character from a movie, a character from video, a video game, or just wanting me to create something crazy or follow somebody's tutorial, like I'd be, I'd be down. Obviously, I have, like I said, I was late to Halloween this year because I was going to start this channel on Halloween, Spooky Month, and I do have some um, Halloween themed looks, which I think one I'm gonna, I think these couple I'm going to post soon on this channel as well, maybe before, probably after this, because these characters were the first characters I ever tried to create and I think it would be really cool for you guys to see of how m much so far that I've progressed with my skills and maybe that will make it a little easier on you to see to see or like think about what we can turn ourselves into on this channel because I have ideas I have them written down, but I also want to give you guys a video that you're going to enjoy as well, so. That's what's going on in my head. This is like orangey red, which is totally what I'm going for. I'm trying so so hard here. <sighs> okay, now I think it's a break from that. So I know what color to go for that's orange in this palette. So we're going to take a break from that. And I need another handy dandy brush. I'm just checking if there's any like Obviously, there's some color left, like on the bottom there, as you can see, it's a light purple. So there's some color on it, but like, I always do this to see if there's any color color on it. Because if it's just there on the bottom, then it's totally fine. Okay, now we're gonna do baked cowboy, baked cowboy on top, which is this really pretty, nice gold that I've been using for a long time. A long time and I love it a lot here I'll swatch it Where can I swatch you I'll swatch you let me get out of frame so you can see he's I don't know if you'll be able to see him but he's right there I'll zoom in on it it's right there it's a rip I don't think you're gonna be able to see on my arm but it's a really pretty gold, and I love it a lot. As you can tell, like, I'm creating these. I made, I've dented it. So clearly I love it. Okay, we're just packing you on the lid, buddy. And don't you guys worry about a thing. I'm going to get SD cards, a lot of them. Cause apparently my camera has picked a certain SD card company that it likes a lot, I guess. I don't even know. Or maybe I bought the wrong thing, who knows. She's so pretty. 
don't know. I feel like this angle isn't doing any of the colors justice, but it's really pretty. So maybe we'll move to the bathroom. The bathroom later to see what it all looks like together. But it's a really pretty gold. I'm just making sure it's not going haywire on my nose there. Okay. Now that we're done with that. See, he's really pretty. He's really pretty. Um, back to the orange. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Takes a little bit to find stuff. Having this towel here, here it really helps. Oh god, I feel like I'm gonna break my nail. But if I do, I just put something in another. There's two sides to this brush, and this is the brush that um, you get with the palette. tell in the mirror but so pretty oh 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 blindness it's so hard having a double brush when one side's hitting the mirror and Again, like the start of this video, we didn't know what this look was going to become. Nails really sharp. Okay, so I'm going to disappear real quick and do my eyeliner. And the eyeliner, but I am going to show you what eyeliner I'm using. And that is the Sex Kitten by Tarte. Look, it's little kitty. So this is my eyeliner. I'm more of a fan. I like to use the pencil eyeliner now and then. Don't get me wrong. But my, I love liquid eyeliner. So to save space and to save battery, I will see you when I have eyeliner on. What's up guys? So we got eyeliner on and also I just 
off camera I felt like I should just quickly do the other eye so that's what I did so our eyes are matching but this side we're gonna do something different with cuz why not so we got eyeliner on and our eyes match and it's very pretty so base. so I kind of liked that look so this is the sunshine trying to burst out of the snow or the darkness or however you want to portray that so we are finally moving to that side of the spectrum if you will so I got a couple whites here but I think I know what ones I'm gonna go with and hopefully they stick to to my face because that would be kind of sad that they didn't stick to to my face. Or maybe I should, maybe I'll just be you guys as easy. that I love a lot, but it's a little hard to spin. Um, let's see. I know what song I want to sing you. You take me as I am, and I take you as you are. But your heart in weathered hands, and the bruising on my heart. That may be who I am, that may be who you are. Baby, when you take my hands, you show me that my scars are beauty I actually got pretty far with that. That is Beauty Marks by Sierra. And it's a really pretty song. So, it's not my favorite song ever, but it's a very pretty one. And I got pretty far with that. If you check out, the, go ahead and check out the song, check out the lyrics, and see how far I got. Obviously, I didn't do the beginning of the song because I can't remember it. That is all off memory, so here, let me just like 
show you that I have no, oh, you saw some mess. There is no lyric sheet near me. Okay. Yee. So, I don't know. Because on YouTube nowadays, you need to have proof for some reason. And it's just, I don't know. The world we live in. Okay, let me, let me swatch some of these whites. Ooh. Okay. Okay. What about you over here? I like how you guys just get to listen to my oohs and ahs. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's like, it's, it's like a cream, this one. Don't know if you can see those three, but two of them are really white, and like the middle one is more like a creamy white. I guess we're gonna see if white can even get on this face because I experimented with white um, eyeliner and kind of white eyeshadow before and I didn't want to stick to my skin so which you will see in a video so I'm probably gonna post those even though it's kind of scary I'm gonna change the endings a little bit but yeah okay I mean I'm scared excited and I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do a mix of like the really creamy, some creamy white and like regular white. Oh, I just hit you guys off. I'm sorry. It wasn't personal. I didn't mean it, I swear. Okay. You guys like that sound? Okay, can I just say I am not a fan of ASMR. I'm not, bruh. <laughs> I'm sorry. If you enjoy it, that's cool. I, I just don't. So I am taking the shade Jawbreaker, which is the creamy white in the middle, and from the Jawbreaker palette. So, just because I think it will add a cool effect. But also, so I'm probably going to use a mix of that and a mix of Colian, I think you pronounce it. It's the diamond um, white in the blue blood. Palette. So I'm gonna be mixing those two I think because they're pretty sparkly and I think they would look better together than um, a sparkly white and a normal white but maybe I'll add some of the normal white in there as well which is from the Jawbreaker palette as well and it's called Virgin. So do some mixtures they're pretty all right on my arm so I guess we'll see what sticks and what falls out I hope none because I think this would be really really cool let's just test with the normal white oh Jesus <laughs> there was a lot on there a duck noise for you. I tapped it on my bed. No! This is why I put the towel here. So, okay. It's just... I don't know. Did any get on my face? There's one swipe of the regular white. I don't know if this is going to stick to my face. I don't know. I don't want it to though. 
by the way, all my looks um, that I will post besides this one, it's a mixture of eyeshadow and body safe a body paint for your skin. Just so you know. Part of me thinks I should do white body paint, but another part of me is like no because I already had a white face and I don't really feel like painting my face white. I don't know if this is gonna work. <sighs> Am I gonna have to paint my face? Maybe, because I think that's the only way it's going to stay at all. Kind of torn. But it's. What did I do, do, do? What did I do to deserve this? I'm just gonna put this. I haven't tried this out of the way. And yes, I'm using the same brush. Don't judge. Because I'm testing it right now. Oh, well, that gave some pigment, but. I think I'm gonna have to, which is really annoying. Okay, I'm gonna make this side of my face white. There is makeup on my face right here, so. It's going over makeup, which is not really ideal, so. I'm gonna make some of my face white, and I'll be back, I guess. I don't know. We'll see if I turn white, become whiter than I am. Because I think this is the only way we're going to make a difference with this. Which is annoying. But I think it will be better in the end. So I'll be back. I got it. And it is Goddess Blue Eyeliner from Urban Decay. And of course I got the sharpener because it's a pencil. So, it, it kind of needs a sharpen right away. You see that? It's a little dull. It's also sparkly. Just a little sharpen. Not too much. Okay. That's good to start with. I don't know. I But yeah, I think I have decided that I'm gonna go down to my neck with white. But let's figure out this face first. Let's just do... A little doink. And then we want the edge of the eye. <sighs> it looks black, but I swear to goodness, it's a dark blue. As you can see. It looks black. It's not black. Okay, we get to go into the eyebrow a little bit and hairline. Let there be light. <laughs> That's what we can call this look because we have the. We add like a little one there. And then. Oh. 
This is coming out. It looks kind of weird right now, but let's should we do a crack by my mouth? Like just like. And then we'll make like a um, a crack like down here on my neck somewhere. Ooh. Is that for me? Okay, so I'll probably add s that probably is from me. <laughs> Let's be honest here. It probably is. You don't want to do too many cracks by the eyeball. I don't think because we don't want to like I'm trying to think logically about this how to go about this let me let me see cuz I get obviously I have the whole blue blood palette so I Okay, that looks okay. That's this is the color deceased right here, so that's not bad. Ice tray makes us look a little more frostier. So I may go with that. I may go with ice tray. Ocean ice looks awesome and it's beautiful. But I don't want to be too dark, I don't think. So let's take a break from the cracks just for a few minutes and just see where this takes us. I'm gonna dip into ice tray and we're just gonna chisel out. A jawline. Again, it's hard. This is ice tray. I really like that. I'm trying to give, because you're doing the frosty effect without doing too much. This looks sick so far. I just, we need like more white or something. Also, I'm gonna put it up above here. You guys can see what I'm doing, and I'm making sure I know what I'm doing. I'm trying to go into my hairline a little bit. It looks like I got really frost, but but that's the thing. We want this side of the face to be frozen. The blue cracks look awesome. Ice tray gives you, yes. Ice tray gives you the frost. It's 
like a good uh, medium frost. Why not put it in some corn dog? I'm trying so hard also instead of having something. This was so pretty. I think we're looking pretty frosty. Pretty frosty. I don't know. You know, see, that's the contour I tried, and we got it on my jawline, and we got it up here. We're very frost bitten up there. Let's see if we can tone that down a smidge. It's actually looking pretty cool. I'm gonna go to my neck because I think it would be really cool if I just had a big gash and like some sunlight was peering in it. So I will be right back with a white neck. A few minutes. I am back with a white neck. <laughs> so let's shade. Also, I added some more to my face. So let's just. I'm gonna have the shade um, shade by my nose sooner or later. I feel like my knee is just falling right now. There we go. We can call. Also, I got some of my um, hairline for you guys, so, god, I wish, you can't see what I'm doing in the house I'm like this, which is kind of annoying, but of course, some things don't work according to plan, plan, so, you gotta make, um, what's, what works for you. I think this will be called frostbite. Just because we're frosted on the other end one. <laughs> so it just kind of fits. Okay, this is what I've done so far. I'm trying to show you guys as much as possible at this angle. angle and it's annoying that we ran out of memory so soon. But we got this. I believe in us. Okay. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to show you this because I gotta really concentrate on making this gash. like some Zelda shit. Let me pick you guys up a minute. So this is the gash. That looks like something in Zelda. Doesn't it? Like some evil like person would. I think that's a cool gash though. So I'm gonna add some like the eyeshadow to our eyes. I'm gonna add that so it's like the gash is like glowing. Like, let me out! 
Don't keep all the coldness inside. Let it spring out. Am I getting weird? That's okay. I'm saying it's okay to we to be weird because it is okay. Don't act like you can't be yourself, because you can. Okay, I get it. That was a good mirror. <laughs> well, for one, it's not dirty. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to tell, but it's sunlight. I'm trying to break out of my soul. Put you there a second. really close in contact here. Trying to understand. It's hard to see. Yay, you can see more of me right now. And that is because the candle slipped forward. <laughs> In case you were wondering. Um, maybe... Oh, oh, wrong, wrong, wrong. kind of crazy, but hey. I think what will make it more realistic, I just kind of like made it into a box so it's more like something's hidden oh god <laughs> now i think we're gonna go in and we're gonna frost it up a bit because it just looks a bit too much sunshine i think i did too much
kind of liked what we had before, dang it. But that's what makeup wipes are for. I use this. Okay. This is already like a dirty one, so I gotta use the clean half. So let's get a It was like a unique mark, so I'm, okay. I'm gonna have to go back into the bathroom and put some more white on, but yeah, I shouldn't have done that one thing. Okay. That was just so unique and I kind of ruined it, so we're back. I'm just going to make it more um, prominent when I come back. And I know in the comments you guys are going to say, Oh, why didn't you take us with you? We want to see the white body paint. It's like it already took a struggle to put this up, so I don't really want to ruin it by setting, trying to set you guys up somewhere else where you're just gonna see me just paint my neck. So I will be right back. And we're back. So body paint makes a great eraser, as I was saying. So Mark's gone. Remake or unique or make a different one. Something unique. Okay. <laughs> I made the new mark. It's that. <laughs> um, it's not as cool as the first one, but candle keeps sliding. Don't slide, candle. I think. It... Are you joking? Makeshift thing is falling apart. No. But I think it's pretty cool. And it's in its own way, it's really cool. It looks old too. It looks like it would have been like some old tribe, doesn't it? Let's see if the top can come this way a little bit though. So it looks like our own mark. Yes. I got it. So it's our old mark mixed with our new. I just made the type the top longer because that's what it was. I don't know. I feel like like circle I feel like adding to it more because it looks like blank. It's kind of bland, but I also, I don't want to ruin it. You know what I mean? Because the other thing I was thinking of it making was like, it could be a treble clef. Shout out to the band kids out there. But I don't, I don't want to do too much that it's going to ruin it. You know, so. I think that's pretty good. I feel like I could take this part off to make a, a really look like I was part of a tribe or something. But I'm scared too, because it could make it ugly. And we don't want that. But yeah. That was another idea of just like 
doing a treble clap. I don't know, this one looks more like ancient. Looks like something that someone just took like a pile of sticks together and just went Or like took, um, you know those like, I don't know how to explain them, but those um, things, you know how they used to heat up the horses and not heat up the horses, but it was like a metal thing and you would, it would have like a name or whatever on them or like a horseshoe or something and they would put it to like horses to mark them. Does anybody under know what I'm saying? If you don't, it's totally fine, but I'm just saying it kind of looks like that, like someone just drew... As I was saying, someone just drew like some kind of art for the first time and just went <sighs> on my neck to label your mine. So, stay, candle, not you. I'm trying so hard to keep you guys up. I'm competing with the candle. It's just sliding and it's very nice. Oh, that's terrifying, good God. And don't worry, I was gonna color my ears. I thought about it, but I did color my ears for, I don't wanna give it away cause I wanna post it and I want you guys to watch it. But I did, what was I saying? I was just, There's a horse noise. Oh, but speaking of horses, I never rode a horse or ride. I never did a horse riding thing ever in my life. So that would be cool to do is I wrote, I did ride a, a pony. I don't think years ago though, when I was really young, I rode a camel. Um, it was alright. It was interesting. Um, I rode, um, rode an elephant at the circus a long time ago. Like some of these are just ages ago. I rode an elephant and I was by its shoulder so every time it moved its foot I felt it. <laughs> I felt it and it was the weirdest feeling in the world. So. Honestly, like, if you see an animal and you want to ride it, give it a try. Not, I wouldn't recommend riding an ostrich or an alligator or like crazy animals like that, but like elephant, camel, horse, or any other nice animal <laughs> you can think of that will let you ride it. Going on an angle, angle, angle. I'm trying so this was working so well why I mean I have carpet so either if anything fell it would be fine but can you stop sliding candle that would be great like I need something else Keep that from sliding you guys up god dang it I think we're pr we're getting there I think I'm gonna shade a little bit with this and then and then we're gonna move on to I'm trying to think what's left to do I think I might just add maybe one more crack somewhere. I don't know where? Or at least connect that, jeez. It's not even connected.
Okay. <laughs> I stopped it. Okay, let's let's connect this. So it actually looks like it's a part of that. Oh god. Don't want to add any of this to this because it may look ugly and we don't want it to look ugly. You know what I should have done? I should have curled. God damn it! <laughs> Stay. I tried to use palettes to... Am I gonna have to hold it now? Okay. But yeah, you know what I should have done? I, sh I should have curled this instead of making this line. I could curl the top. Let me curl the top and see how that looks. Stay, guys. Stay. Stay, please. Can I... Oh, what if- Ooh, ooh, better idea, better idea, better idea. What if I curled it up in here so the swirl was right there? Basically, I'm just- <laughs> I feel so bad that you guys don't have much of a say in this, because we, like, did it. Getting rid of the swirl, by the way. Wouldn't that look awesome if, like, um... If I added like a swirl up here to my face, or would that look <laughs> even worse? That is the question. I know at this point I should probably leave it alone. But I can't. Actually, yeah, I'm just gonna keep it like that. Because. Well. I'm just shading down here, so don't mind me. Don't mind me at all. I like how this color makes it so like... Okay, for the sun, I think I'm just gonna use the gold. The gold, cause... I feel like that would just work better than like... Okay, we're gonna shade here. And I think I'm just gonna shade, shade here. I'm just gonna shade in two spots. Because when I shaded it before, it just looked like it was overbearing. Okay, now I'm gonna... I'm just gonna shave this, this part of it. Like, frosted. As you guys can tell, I'm trying really hard to make this good for you, look good for you. I'm not trying to do so much that it's going to destroy it. But enough to... Yeah. So you got a little sunlight there. A little sunlight over here somewhere. And like... Tons of frozen. Okay. Um, now I think... I mean, we're pretty much there, so I think right now I'm going to do mascara. This is Volumizer Butterfly Sculpt. I think it's, I want to say this is L'Oreal. It might, it might be. 
I got this at Meyer, so this is a store brand. So we got a mix of brands here in the house, which is totally okay. I first, I guess. I'm going to get up in your face again. <sighs> also, do you like this? Like every now and then I just put a little fact for you guys to get to know me. Get to know me. If I can speak properly, that would be great. Um, I am... I am allergic to peanuts. Or nuts in general. But you guys didn't know that. So yeah, my... Mine, however, is not as severe as some people's. So with some people, they will... Um like death is involved like deathly allergic me I just can't eat it so if I'm near it I'm fine if you guys sit next to me and eat it I'm fine it's just if I eat it I mean I'm gonna tell you it stinks because it does and if you say peanut butter doesn't have a smell it does and it stinks whether you love that smell or not to someone who is allergic to nuts and just peanut butter in general it stinks also like if I touch um, like something with a nut in it like obviously I'm gonna have a allergic reaction on my skin and it's a rash and it's not a, it's not a pretty one either. You guys enjoying this? I don't know, with my mascara, I'm never the type of person to like, go like, just so you know, my eyelashes are really long, so they're gonna stick together. But some people like their mascara like really, um, what's the word, like full, like full of bristles like this applicator. Like I like these ones because like, I don't know, they're just more of my cup of tea than the ones with like the full on bristles on both sides. So. I'm just using this, so. I think this frosted side of my face really came out good with all the struggles along the way and how I lost memory on my GoPro. I think it's done good so far. Even though this is a phone quality, I do think that this has turned out turned out really well. Look at those beauties. Okay. The lower lash line is harder than the top. I'm sure most of us can agree on that. God, it's hard not to blink. Oh God, I may need, I may need assistance. But yeah, with mascara, I don't really stick with a particular, a particular brand. I just grab one. I just grab what I like and I go.
I'm still here. I'm just down here. Oh, oh, I... It's okay. It's okay, we can... Okay. We hit a little, um... You can't even see it on my phone. But we went... To a little no-no zone. So I'm going to do my little trick. So you take a sponge. You put it underneath your lower lashes and you just blink to get maybe some access off. Like the clumps or help your eyelashes split apart somewhat. So that's my little trick. Okay. Now usually I just use one sponge, but I have a feeling. So we're gonna try with one sponge. I got two just in case. I'm gonna go from this side this time because a little oopsie oo happened and and spread them apart and there we go there's no I'm pretty sure there's no like blackness on the upper lid so I'll close my eyes a second if you guys see some <laughs> sorry but I don't I had no control but I don't think there's any up there that I can see I'm really close to your faces because I'm tracking so yeah, that's my little trick that I do with my mascara. Um, what else? I'm trying to think. I mean, there's not much left to do, if I'm being honest. I don't know if I still want to do the crack by the mouth, though. It's so, like, eh, about that. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'm trying so hard. I think, I think really all that's left are the lips. Cause we got our little tribal guy down there. <laughs> um, yeah, all that's really left is lips, I believe. And then we can spray it all, spray it all. So I did this before I filmed this too, but I think I'm gonna use it again just because it's been a while. So I'm going to put on the this lemon scrub. It's called the Lemon Sucker and it's from Jeffrey. So I'm going to use this. And it's vegan and it's edible. So that's actually good if you use lip scrubs quite a lot. smear it because I have um, a thing that's that uses like a sugar scrub and it's not edible as far as I know and it's just like okay I want to use this but god dang it it takes literally it takes me like 20 15 minutes to put this thing on straight My struggles. There we go. Yes. And then I use this. Uh, this is a sugar treatment as well. I also use this on my regular 
regular lips as well like instead of like lip gloss speaking of which i don't wear a lot of lip gloss or lipstick a lot of the time it's mostly this because this is easy i got this from sephora it's a sugar scrub and it's mint flavor i think yeah so i use this most of the time My lips get very dry. I drink water as well, but it doesn't hydrate my lips enough, I guess. I'm trying so hard. My phone's about to die as well, so. Don't give up on me, phone. I believe in you. Okay, so I got some lip colors, but I kind of know what I'm going to wear just by what we used. So it's my new one, and I got it from Ulta, and it's this... It's a beautiful, here I'll just, it's a beautiful dark, um, lip. And I never had this color, and it's beautiful, and it's called heroin. <laughs> it's called heroin, so. It's very pretty. I hope this works. I do have other options. Let me just show you all the options. So I came up with three. This is the first one, which I think will go quite well. There, it snapped. My next one would have been this Jeffree Star one and it's Scorpio. So it's like this, I don't want it to drip on my phone. It's like this dark, maybe like purple. I'm trying to think of what color it is. So that was an option. It's still an option. And of course, this color is very um, similar in a way to Scorpio. So, yeah, those were the colors I chosen. Oh, so can I just say I think I have a problem? Because I love lipsticks, but I don't wear them enough. So I guess I just need to um, wear more lipstick. But again, you gotta be careful with lipsticks because I guess they, they sting your lips just like eyeshadows sting your lid. So I'm gonna swatch these actually. See which one looks better. Okay. So, there's lighting. Okay, so, Jesus. I'm coming, guys. Ugh, I saved you. <laughs> Sorta. Jeez Louise. And you're upside down, because the timer's upside down. <laughs> So here we have heroin, here we have Scorpio, and that is, what color is this?
I can't read the name of you, but the number is 975 is the last one. And the reason why I'm leaning towards heroin so much is because it's my new one. But also, look at that color comparison right there. It goes with the frosty theme. But we also got to remember when choosing a color for a look that it also has to complement the other side. And I do think... Um, I don't know. I think heroin... Obviously, Scorpio is beautiful. I don't know. Honestly, any of these would be perfect, but I'm leaning towards, like, heroin and the other one just because it's more, like, neutral? Neutral, in a way. Neutral. Because we gotta favor, like, the look as well. Like, both sides. It's very hard. But I do love Scorpio. I'm probably gonna wear Scorpio on my birthday. Because my birthday is literally just next week, which is insane. But I guess... <sighs> so I'm not going to put the lipstick on while, um... while in front of you guys because I'm horrible at it already. So I'm probably going to do that off camera just because... <laughs> just because... Yeah, okay. Goodbye for now. What is up guys? And this is our final look. Got our normal side. And our other side. I may... I'm gonna put you down for a quick second. Because this is what I do with all my looks. Or all my makeup. A little frizzy. Miss Frizzy. I go into the Blue Blood palette and I take my highlighter brush and I dip into Colony, I think it is. Try to not get too much and I put some after I sprayed of course and I just put some wherever my highlight is and basically I just double highlight to make it more shimmery and obviously I can't really do it to the side because I don't want any of the white that's coming off but this is our look um, I'm gonna hold you close so you can see it um, better so this is our final product we got another glow got extra glow and this is our little ice person. I don't know what to call that half, but yeah. This is our look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I tried to, um, I guess in a way, give you guys to know about me. I gave you some stuff. Not a whole bunch, but... Um, let me see. Uh, I was going to say something. Um, I went with heroin, as you can see, and obviously I told you before I went to go put my lipstick on that I'm not the best at lipstick, and honestly, if you guys are like um, not as good with lipstick as I am because I don't wear it a whole lot, um, a good trick is to use concealer and fix the spots where it was messed up and repair it that way okay uh, so I'm probably gonna take pictures of this beautiful look that you and I have created and I hope you guys got to know me a little bit it wasn't a whole lot of information um, I guess the last thing I want to say is my inspiration why I'm doing this YouTube channel and that is because I want to inspire all you beautiful people 
out there. I want you to be creative. Use YouTube as a creative platform. It's for anybody. YouTube is literally been through so much with me. It's my dearest friend. There. So you don't see my hand. But YouTube has done a lot for me as a happy place and basically I want to share that with you guys and inspire you do something different explore um, create crazy makeup looks and yeah just to inspire you to because a lot of the creators I've watched over the years have inspired me and shown kindness. They got me to smile and laugh even after a rough day of school or a rough day of work. And I just want to give that happiness to someone else, to you, the person watching this behind the screen. I'm losing battery. But I love you all so much. Keep creating. Stay yourself. Love yourself. And I will see you all later.